thing. But you did waves or not? Huh? I would def uh yes, we <laughs> Oh, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to Dynasty Travel TV. TV. I'm Chris. I'm Jess. So today we're going to share our favorite place, New Zealand. Okay, so New Zealand is contained about two main islands. It's actually located at Southwest Pacific Ocean. Uh, the population of New Zealand is about 5 million of people and guess what? New Zealand is about 372 times bigger than Singapore. It's really huge. So today we would like to share the top 10 activities and things that uh, we must do in New Zealand. Okay, so before we start, here's the video what you expect for New Zealand. I can't describe how, how happy I was when I traveled to New Zealand. Everything looks so perfect. It's like a picture. You can see mountains everywhere. You can see the river everywhere. And when you see the panoramic view in New Zealand, you feel like, wow, it's not real. It's like in the dream. The moment I step on the New Zealand land, I feel that the first thing I do is I take a deep, deep breath. This is a pure air I want to <laughs> breathe in. You can feel that the nature is with you. Experience the true pureness that is still available on this earth. Well, traveling through is basically a very endless surprise. It's every corner, every turn that when you are driving, it's something new, something refreshing and something amazing. It's basically you, yourself and the nature. I feel like recharged. New Zealand people is very kind-hearted, very humble. It helps us to easily fall in love with the country as well. You serve with heart. They take care of your feelings, they take care of your experience, they take care of your safety, most importantly, they take care of you. After the long trip, you always want to go for shopping and of course eating. Auckland is always a good place for shopping, so that's always a perfect place for Indonesians to spend their time. New Zealand is a place that you can fill with all your five senses. You can taste of their good food. You can feel their fresh air in the air. You can see their wonderful culture. You can also try out all the different activities. It's a place that you definitely must visit in your lifetime at least once. While going out at night and looking at the dark skies will just make you feel so small. It makes you forget all your problems and trouble because there's nothing that we can't solve. New Zealand is a place for calming your soul. When you see all the beautiful panoramic, then when you see all the New Zealanders people, they are very humble, they are very kind-hearted. I always feel that when I go to New Zealand, I'm home. Okay, so let's start now. So the first opportunity I would like to share and also has two activities in New Zealand, which is stargazing and let's be couple. Woo okay, so let's be couple actually part of the UNESCO Dark Sky Reserve. So that's why this is one of the best places for the stargazing. So uh, for our programs, for the night days first and also in the morning days first, we special including this experience for our customers. So if you enjoy our package ride, you must go there. So nice. Okay. So for how we go there, we are to come our hotel. Because uh, it just takes a 5 minute journey to the Forgotten Fields. Yeah. So uh, they are very expert guys, right? They are sharing their knowledge, their, uh, their knowledge and their experience for our customers. Right? So, uh, what I tell you, uh, I will never see this endless carpet of stars in front of my eyes before. And you will it's never, really never forget about this side. It's really inside. It's a little It's really, really stunning. Yeah, that's okay, right. It's actually one of the best places uh, to view the stars. Koya is famous okay, uh, for Pohutu Geyser and the uh, New Zealand Maori culture and craft school. Okay, if you join our tour, right, you'll be 
sitting mark groups and see the live TV. Iguana, okay. Sliver, <laughs> right? Yes, sliver. <laughs> and Geyser, that uh, they can spur, uh, spur up to 20 to 30 meters high. Sure, no, you press the button, huh? No, okay, no. all this is a natural one, okay? Uh, so, uh, at the evening time, you get to enjoy our Dynasty Travel experience, which is the traditional Maori style of uh, this performance, Haka performance, and the traditional style of uh, it's a honey fest. Honey fest, yeah. It's honey fest. Yes, that's right. So um, now uh, we would like to share the number top three. Waitomo cake. Yeah, Waitomo cake. Also very nice, you know. You can't miss it. Yeah. So this Waitomo right cake is the best nature uh, attraction. Uh, it's actually located in the uh, North Islands as well. Yeah. So this is our with a guided tour. So uh, when we go into the cave, right, the professional will explain everything to us. And of course, do not forget, we will actually take the boat right to the cave. Yeah, so when you just sit down in the boat, right, you just raise up your face, you will see this brilliance of the grown just above the cave. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. of course. Take photos. You cannot take photo, you can't get video, but you can google the photo, it's very mm. nice. Really, okay. Yeah, but one thing is that, you just need to be silent in the cave, because it doesn't have the noise. Oh, I see, I see. Mm. How about uh, taking photo with flash? You cannot? Mm. I've never Unfortunately, seen. Unfortunately, no. Huh? You cannot take any photo, you can take uh, video, but you can take photo outside the cave. Ah, yeah. I see. Then how? Google it. You just Google it. Yes. Google yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now uh, the top four that I would like to share uh, is jet boarding. This is very exciting uh, activity. Jet boarding, we would like to share uh, this about 20, 20 seconds video. Okay, uh, so this is something, uh, some of the activity that you really cannot miss when you visit New Zealand. Yeah. You will get so wet, fun. fun, and it's exciting. very, very exciting. But you get wet or not? Huh? I would have, uh, yes, we... <laughs> oh, I told you. We <laughs> uh, There are a few places that we can yeah, this, uh, do this activity. Okay, there are Queen's Town and some of the places we can do this activity. Yeah. Okay, just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Okay, so the next one now uh, is very exciting activities. Yay. Have you, I'm sure you already haven't done it before. Oh, this boy. is the bungee jumping. Right, so this bungee jumping actually at the uh, Kawara Bridge, which is quite near to the so just about 50 minutes away. Yeah, so what is so famous uh, is because this is the birthplace of the bungee jumping. Yeah, so I actually Yay. did it before, no, a few years back. It's just about 43 meters high. Yeah, so but when you stand on the platform, right, and you want to jump down, if you want to scream, you really cannot scream down, right? The, the, you know, it's just like the heart was in my mouth. Yeah, so actually, I'm very scared of doing this one. Actually, I'm afraid of high also. Yeah, but I really did it. I made it. Yeah, yeah. You make it really wow. Yeah, so when yeah. I made this leg, right, yeah, I just feel like when the I can feel the, the pull of the book, right? It feels relief and guts are really big. 
<laughs> and I'm sharing one story. Uh, it's not a story, like, uh, from my experience. Well, my customer is about like 60 years old. Uh, it's an auntie. 60 yeah. years old auntie? 60 years plus, actually. Oh, yeah, but uh, she also did it. <gasps> yeah, so when she comes back, right, everybody just crap. I'm so impressed of her. Was she? Ready? Yeah, I'm thinking I want to go back to it again. Wow. Mm. Okay, so now uh, the following top activity uh, that I would like to share is skydiving. Okay. This is honestly speaking uh, the most thrilling experience that I ever had in my life, uh, skydiving. So uh, they got actually different height you can choose. They got 9,000 feet, uh, 12,000 feet, and 15,000 feet. I think it depends on the company. Okay, yeah, but it's really, really uh, beautiful. So uh, something that I think like, everybody should experience. <laughs> yeah, but probably once in their life. Okay, so uh, if you got the chance, um, when you jump out from the plane at that moment, you mm. totally blank. Okay, you how you feel, how you jump out really, from the really totally blank. You got no time to scare, to think others, and so on. Everybody yeah, jump. yeah, free fall from out of nowhere. Okay, but there will be somebody with you. Don't worry uh, about this. Okay, it's not as scary as your Apache jump. <laughs> yeah, because you always think that uh, they, 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 they are always somebody behind you, right? Uh, to, yeah, you feel secure, okay? So, um, it was really incredible uh, experience and the view when you jump out from the tank is breathtaking. Breathtaking, it's really, really beautiful. You can see the all snow at mountains and so on. Yeah. yeah. So, next time I think I must try this. Yes, you must try. <laughs> There's not too many places in the world where you can actually kind of do all of this in one day. We were up at Kadrona this morning doing some training for the World Cup and now we're down here in Queenstown jumping out of the plane. that feeling that was wild how'd you go oh it was insane <laughs> Thank you. oh man cheers yeah. to queenstown cheers Queen. to queenstown <laughs> Alright, so the next coming top activities I would like to share is Milford Sound experience. Yeah, this is everybody know um, this uh, Milford Sound right? Uh, eight nature water of New Zealand. Yeah, so um, why it's so famous, right? Because the journey uh, where you go into Milford Sound is absolutely spectacular. Graphic. Yeah. All right. So the um, it's actually famous for the uh, stunting lake. Yeah, the uh, lakes, waterfalls, rainforest, of course, this mountain, uh, snow cat mountain. Ooh, yeah, so it, how do we do that? Um, okay, there's actually a um, few options, right? So if you want very, very glamps, uh, you can take like, about 30 minutes helicopter or seaplanes, right? Yeah, so but of course, if you take the, the, the flights, right, you miss the beauty of the ground. Yeah, you yeah. can only see the bird at you, right? Yes, but it's... It's, you know, it's quite fast, you just wait 30 40 minutes, right? And the other option is you can actually uh, self-drive. Uh, Singaporean right, self-drive, right? But of course, if you want to self-drive, right, you must focus on the road because it's quite winding road. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's quite winding. Then you can really, you Enjoy must the pay place. attention yeah, to concentrate yeah. on the drive. So, um, there's another way, yeah, so uh, I can suggest you can actually take the big objects. Yeah, this um, is actually the Tinder Scrap in Talk. Wow. Yeah, so it won't block the view. It's like 270 uh, degree of view. So it won't block. So you can see, you enjoy the view to the max. Oh, it sounds that it's the best option. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, the uh, driver will uh, give you some commentary oh, nice. so that you can more understand about these places and as well. And enjoy the view at the same yeah, time. Of course. Oh, <laughs> yeah, of course. So tell you a secret, right? So, okay, when you wait, 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 the boats, I mean, the cruise telling us the investment fee, 
you will see all the stunning uh, great uh, waterfalls mm -hmm. and of course the cruise station we are uh, selling near to one of the uh, waterfall which is the uh, selling hall it's 155 meters high Wow. Uh, so when we get into the waterfall, the water splash into you. Well, you feel you very fresh. Oh. Yeah, but it's not really well, it's just like you feel fresh. Yes. Yeah, so tell you a secret. So what when secret? you get a splash, right? I mean the, the waterfall mm -hmm. splash uh, to you. Okay. Yeah, so the next day morning, you will find your 10 years younger. <gasps> so you want to say you 10 years this younger? This is how I can test my look. <laughs> <laughs> There's no word to describe this beauty. So you must come to this place to immerse yourself by this beauty. Wow. Yeah. Okay, wow. Okay, sounds very good. Okay. Yeah. So the next talk okay, that we would like to share, uh, beside all those activities, okay, also food mm -hmm. tasting in New Zealand, it's a must do. Mm -hmm. Okay, in New Zealand. Okay. So let's get, uh, let's guess, uh, Jess, mm -hmm. uh, what is the the food that you must try in Queenstown. Queenstown. Ah, I know, I know. It's the burger, yes. right? Fur burger. Yes. Yeah, it's fur burger. It's actually very, very well known in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And uh, super juicy, yummy. And yeah. the price actually quite reasonable. Yeah. It costs about New Zealand dollar, like 10 to 20 mm -hmm. uh, for like each step. Okay, the burger, I tell you, it's really huge. Just like your face, just yeah. really, really huge. Oh, uh, the portion very big. Actually, like maybe a family of three can probably get two set. I think it's definitely enough. Okay, and it is uh, that something uh, that you must go to try in Queenstown in New Zealand. Why? Because that this uh, bur burger, there is no franchise. Okay, so you uh, yeah, shouldn't try. Uh, uh, other some places. other place, yeah, in, uh, uh, beside Queenstown, okay? So this is that you must try when you visit Queenstown. Yeah, so one of my customers, right, is a family mm. of four, right? Okay. They try about seven to eight burgers just in two days. Seven to eight burgers? Yes, they try in the morning, in the afternoon, and the night. <laughs> then next day morning, go and buy the gate. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> so you can imagine how nice. Yes, yeah. it is really, really nice if you must try with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Okay, so after uh, this burger, mm -hmm. the next top that we would like to share is Hoppitan. Oh, yeah, Hoppitan. Yeah, I like it so much. Okay, for this Hoppitan, right, we really have to thanks to Peter Jackson said because he uh, discovered these places of the Rock of the Ring, yeah, so the Hobbit movie. Yeah, so they actually take this place from the movie. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so we actually got 44 Hobbits, 44 Hobbits in uh, Hobbitons. So, you can imagine that uh, uh, there's some uh, of the Hobbit hosts that you can really enter in. Like me, uh, like happy, you know, I'm I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's easy to enter, it's easy to enter the Hobbit host. So, um, so when you are walking this course, right, this is a walking tour. so our tour guide will actually bring us around the garden. So after they will explain with the, uh, with the story and the Hobbit Hall, at the end of the tour, they will bring us to the Green Dragon. We have the uh, free drink. Yeah, there's a few options of drinks. So oh, you must come here next time. Oh, so And also for our, our package later. Uh. Wait, wait. So our programs, right, we also wait including the barbecue lunch. Yeah, it's very, very nice for you to have your lunch. Okay, so stargazing cannot take photo. How about this? Can this one, of course, you can, can take as much as you can. Yeah, so every time I tell them, you know, the full charge is their handful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I always take the photo at my factory flat. Yeah, and I always have to tell customers that, you know, Lu Pen the Ye Huai, we are Thai. You know, because they are, they are really well maintained in their garden. Mm. Yes, hop it up. Next time when you visit uh, New Zealand, you must uh, visit this place. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So the last top 10 that we would like to share is snow landing. Yeah. Oh, snow landing. This is also must do. Eh? Yeah, it's really, really one of the must do in New Zealand. Mm. Okay. So the snow landing will fly, uh, the, this flight will fly us over New Zealand. Alpine, you can be able to see rainforests, 
valleys, especially uh, snow-capped mountains, uh, glaciers. Yeah, you get to see uh, one of the most beautiful, but I feel mm-hmm. in uh, in the world, one of the best. Okay, so you'll be able to see all the snow mountains, all the okay. So, uh, uh, what were your questions? I think do we do the snow land? Ah, yes, we do. We do snow landing. Okay, just uh, about ten minutes. Uh, uh, the mo- this is one of the most important thing. Uh, you get to experience to. Uh, uh, land at the uh, uh, at the top of the mountain, mm-hmm. and you you have some time to play some snow, get some good experience with your family, kids, <laughs> friends, and so on. Do us, yeah, right? <laughs> and snowman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we are done sharing all the top activities and things to do in New Zealand. Thank you for spending your time with us. Okay, so now this is the quiz time. Ooh. So whether you are listening to us or not. Yeah. Okay, alright. So the quiz is, what is the restaurant name that we mentioned at Queenstown? What is the name? Yeah, what's mm. the name? So just leave your comments at the comments uh, column here. Alright, so one of the lucky winner will have chance to win our Dynasty Mystery Game. Wow, what is that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, alright, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. So stay safe, everybody. Uh, we see you in, in New, New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah.